Hello fam, this is Comfort But Condi. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you on how to integrate uh, mobile money payments to your web application or to your websites using a Flutter web payment platform or uh, yeah, payment gateway. Let me just say Flutter web payment gateway. So Flutter web is a good payment gateway. It supports multiple payment methods for Zambians such as uh, card payments, butter, and all the all, and all the mobile money payment methods such as that is uh airtel mtn and zamtel so before we get started make sure that you already have an account on flutterweb.com and then uh you just have to get a public key so from here we are going to get a public key and then the next step is uh google flutterweb flutterweb inline flutterweb flatweb inline yeah so flat to have inline. Sorry about my network, it's a little bit slow, you know. All right, so this is flat to have inline. So you have to click on the first link from official flat to have if you want something updated. If you want something updated. So this is it. So we are going to copy, we're going to copy paste this JavaScript snippet here. So I'm just going to copy all of it here. JavaScript and then the next thing you, we need to create a we need to create a file now so on my pc here so I, i'm i'm on linux but it doesn't matter i know some people out here are like hey me i'm on windows but this will be complicated for me me i'm on mac this will be complicated for me no there's nothing like that make sure that your operating system supports java supports javascript of which i'm pretty sure that about 100% of the operating systems, they do support JavaScript. And I do recommend using Google Chrome, the new Microsoft Edge, and Apple Safari for best JavaScript experiences. So uh, you need to create a folder on your system. If you are using a laptop, if you are using Windows or Windows, you can just put it on any folder you want. So in my case, I have a folder called practice and then inside it there's a flutter folder so i'm going to be using uh sublime text as the as a text editor but you can use anything you want so this one i'm going to name it pay dot html so i'm going to paste a, a paste to paste that sniper which i copied from flutter.com so we are going to make some few changes here so the first thing is the TX reference though it's optional, but in my case, I like to change this one for testing purpose. Maybe there are some people out there trying the same text and reference, so it may refuse. So let me add anything. You can add anything you want here. So let me just add 800 amount. Let me just put 50 and then currency. Let me just say uh, ZMW since I'm from Zambia. So if you're from the United States, you can put USD if you're, if you're from nigeria you can just put ngn if you're from zambia it's just zmw and then country here on country since i'm from zambia so i'm going to use uh zm yes zm so if you're from the us you can just put us if you're if you are from uganda you can just put huge if you're from nigeria you can put uh ng so now we're good to go so uh the next thing is to change this public key here so the public key we need to get we, we need to get from our flutter of dashboard after we create an account so after after your account was created successful click on settings and then api and then copy key and then you paste it down here all right all right so next thing uh <laughs> the next thing let me change some things here, like email. Let me type in my comfort chambesh, also not this one, comfortbutco at witlevels.com. Phone number, let me type in my 0968793843. And then name, oh, uh, my name, let me just say, let me just comfortbutco, comfortbutco. And then uh a night a product name let me just say uh as in uh ground nuts ground nuts made yeah ground nuts made 
and then here description this is where you describe an item logo this is where you put an image of an eye of a product i mean yeah so the next thing okay so the last thing is to is 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 to create a redirect url so this redirect url here this is where uh it it, it redirects when the payment goes successful so uh we need to create another file named success.html so inside inside the inside the folder which which in, inside the folder where we where paid.html is so here i'm going to say success.html and then i save it so on this success.html i'm going to title payment successful payment successful so here let me head in one so i'm going to say your order was successful yeah your order was successful so uh when when a payment goes successful it will be redirecting to success.html so on this redirects.html we need to change it to success.html so i'm going to leave i'm going to leave a link where you can download all this file in description as in all these files so let's test it out now so let's go to our folder where we where we have pay and success.html this and then we need to open this one success.html all right so uh, the next step is to click on pay now okay so it mostly this part it mostly depends on the internet speed as i said mine is my network strength is very poor here all right so uh many options have come here there's card pay with mobile money pay with buttons but on this tutorial our main focus is on mobile money payment so you need to click on pay with mobile money here and then you choose your network so i'm going to go with mtn this time last and in the last episode for php i i went with Airtel. so on this one i'm going to go with mtn for three zero nine six seven and eight four three all right so after this step they'll send an otp code to your phone number if your phone number is on whatsapp they'll send an otp to your whatsapp and to your phone number direct as an sms so they have sent an otp now I just have to enter an OTP, but sorry guys, I just have to pause this video because I'm sure it contains something private, you know. See. <laughs> All right, so now uh once everything is done, it will redirect to success.html here. So once you confirm, so your order was successful, which means this payment is now successful. So you can check the status here success.html and then question mark status is equals to successful and tx reference the reference this tx reference this is the reference we create we we change here so which is this one and then the transaction the transaction id this one it is automatically ge generated by the flutter of team we are so I, I mean the flutter of system so this is it and that's all for integrating a flutter of payments using javascript I mean integrating your mobile money payments using javascript oh yeah so there's flutter wave it is a good payment gateway it has many features for zambian such as card payment or the mobile money network payments and butter so that's it so what I, what i would like to say is i don't i do not start i do not recommend anyone to use javascript for processing payments because uh you need a backend attached to it like for example let's say uh we need a back let's say we have a backend language which will be checking for us if this transaction id exists in the system in the flutter of system so it should be verifying from the flutter of system whereby after the payment goes successful like this but in order to make some changes in the database uh, it has to verify this transaction id if it exists and, and if it exists and then that's that's when an order needs to be updated and if it doesn't exist that's when 
it has to display your order was not successful. So we do we do add a backend language so that we can make this payment safe and sound. Yeah, just like that. So for verifying for verifying transaction ID, there are many methods here. Here it is verify. So uh, transaction verification here. So transaction verification allows you to verify a, a transaction ID if it exists on if it exists here. So here, this is it. This is a snippet of it. But in this episode, my my main purpose was to show you how to process payments using JavaScript. How to process mobile money payments using JavaScript. Yeah. So thank you guys for your efforts and time on watching this tutorial of mine and. If you truly if you like this video you can subscribe and if you have some questions you can drop it down below and for a good e-commerce platform I'd, I'd, i do recommend isample.com even though it's a startup thing but i'll leave uh, a comment in description i've only mentioned isample.com because i know that e-commerce is future and in zambia we don't have any e-commerce platform but uh, according to my review, I do recommend isample.com because the support is good and they use modern technologies just like that. It has so many advantages. So thank you for watching this tutorial and see you in the next session. Cheers.